Well, season three of Superman and Lois coming up on Tuesday. Well, hey, you're with me, man. And I cannot wait for the debut. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. No, thank you for having me. And good. I can't wait either. Like I said, it's, it's been a while. It's been, um, I've been shooting this show for six months and we're about to wrap. I know, I know it's crazy. We, uh, we've never gotten this far in a season before it's premiered. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually, I've kind of forgotten what happens at the beginning of the season. So <laughs> hopefully it's good. I don't know. Hopefully people like it. I don't remember. <laughs> you were saying, so you wrap the day it premieres, right? Yeah, our official wrap day when everyone, all of shooting stops is literally the same day, Tuesday the 14th. Uh, some of us were finished before, and I, I finished today, and a couple of us uh, finished today as well. But yeah, we're we're in the home stretch. Wow. So you finished wrapping, but that mean, doesn't mean you're still not done with like post-production or dubs or anything oh, like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, the, the, and yeah, the post-production takes such a long time. Like our our show, I mean, I, I got I to give such good props to our special effects team. Like the... The, what it, the way it comes out is so amazing, the quality they're able to do. Because, like, you know, when you're shooting it and you're doing little things, like, you know, like the idea of flying is literally just you standing in the, standing there and just jumping up and just, and just <laughs> that's it. And you literally jump and then you walk away. You know, like, it's, it's like stuff like that. You just land and you got to go like that. And, and then it looks so stupid when you're doing it, but then when it actually airs, it, it makes a lot of sense. It looks great. So, no, it's, it's good. I was going to ask, how is that when – you're doing the special effects scenes and there's nothing there you know it's going to look cool but when you're doing it you're like uh this is so simple dude no i'll tell you you know what's actually the worst for me is um uh doing the in the helmet stuff because okay. because yeah literally it's just a pitch black room i mean it's a studio but it's like the lights are off the camera's here and there's lights around me and that's it like 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 you know obviously the audience is going to see what's going on and i've read the script so i know what's happening but but i have to create all of it in my mind and and you know i've got Brittany, who's our script supervisor who reads the lines to me so so that that's actually the hardest because it's solely based on my imagination it's uh it's given me a newfound respect for like robert downey jr and all he did is iron man well it's a very intimate scene because like the camera like you said it's like right here like just right in your face like yeah it's it's, it's just <laughs> weird and again you get used to it but it's like it's like okay now now this person's getting now superman just got punched okay now now this guy's hitting him here and now this is going on and then and you're just like okay yeah 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 and i'm like you know it's weird speaking of that script how much in advance do you know going into like say episode one of this season mm -hmm. of what's going to happen for the entire arc not just you but everything going on no that's a great question so so actually our showrunners sit everyone down in the beginning of the season to tell them the whole arc okay i am the anomaly because i'm the comic book dork on the show of the <laughs> cast so i don't actually know anything i todd knows todd and but now brent who's also a showrunner on our show they know like tell me the bare minimum only what i need to know i like to read the scripts and be you know surprised uh it's actually annoying because uh, the, the cast knows that now which is great but you know you have we hang out a lot so they can't help mm -hmm. but talk about stuff that's coming up so they'll give a spoiler and then they're like oh oh i'm so sorry i'm like thanks guys so <laughs> so yeah it's just i end up finding out about honestly through it from cast by accident Oh, do you mean that's episode five coming up next week? And we haven't even, oh, thanks guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. Like, like literally that they just, it happens all the time. And, 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 it, and so I actually just get everything spoiled, but it's fine. It's fine. You mentioned that you read the comics and things. Have you found so far that they're following certain trends in the books and you kind of can guess what's coming up? Well, that's the thing. That's why I like doing is the playing the guessing game. Like, like to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't read them anymore. It's, it's been a while since right. I've read comics. But like, you know, when I was much younger, I read all of them. So so I like to guess like I I, I last year, um, I think it was episode four, uh, where where um, you have Bizarro come through. But at first, you know, it's not Bizarro. At first, you think it's Doomsday and all that stuff. And he pops through or whatever. And I was I was like, oh, my and reading the, the script that I'm like, oh, my God, is this a mother box? And, and so I start texting Todd. I'm like, Todd, is this a mother box? Are we getting granny goodness? Are we getting dark side? What's going on? And he's just like, those are great ideas. No. Or whatever it was. It's just like that. Whatever it was. It's just because uh, like I, 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 I'm a fan. I just think it's kind of cool to just guess along. Right. Um, yeah. So you're going into this season. We're going into episode one. What can you tell us about episode one so far? Because I know you got to hold back a little bit and. You can't tell. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. I can say like, watch. Uh, no, it's mm -hmm. fun. It, it's you know, I think it uh, take it picks up pretty much right after um, the finale of last year. Not too far, I an event like ahead, but you know, like everything sort of fun. It's it's a very fun episode. Like Tom Cavanaugh, who directs it, who's directed uh directed our season finale the first year. 
he he does an amazing job and he brings out a lot of humor on the show because you know our show is kind of dark and grittier a little little bit mm-hmm. grittier than like the, the other hourverse shows which i guess technically we're not part of anymore but um but this is definitely a lighter fun episode of course you know look it's a season of a show we need some conflict so it's going to get start getting more interesting and more intense uh but for this episode it's just a lot of fun and i think a lot of fans will enjoy it your character is obviously the doppelganger from another universe yes. are we ever going to start to see that characters from this universe version and kind of get some of the backstory we a hundred percent we're going to delve into that this season yeah 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 i've been telling people episode four is the way you really start getting into like john henry of this earth and we start finding out more about him and uh and i'm just gonna say i've been teasing it and and i cannot wait because i got to act off of chad coleman so much uh like chad and i we have so many scenes together it is going to be a whole season of of Bruno and John going at it. Uh, it's it's the most, I'll tell you, this is the most action I've got to do on the show, not just to steal, mm-hmm. but also as John Henry Irons, because, you know, he has a military background and all those things, so he knows how to fight. So so it's going to be a lot of uh, sparks flying between those two. Talk to me about that suit, because it does not look comfortable to act in. It's not, Wes. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's, not. It's, not. Uh, uh, it's, it's something you just get. Here, here's what it is. When when I first got it, I was like, "Oh my god, this is so cool! I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna suit! I'm I'm, I'm a superhero! This is amazing!" Like the luster wore off, I think after like two episodes uh, 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 or something like that. Like there was season one, uh, we were shooting. We ended up shooting all the way until July. That's how long it oh. took to shoot season one. It was crazy. And like there, I don't know if you remember, like July of 2020, no 2021, there was like a big heat wave across the country or whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So so we're up here. It's like night. We're shooting at like let's say midnight, and it's still like ninety degrees. And I'm outside. I'm in the suit, which I tell people there's. I have a layer of thermals. I've got a. I've got a wetsuit. I've got Velcro on the wetsuit, like pads and like all this stuff in the metal. All those things t- attached to it. I am hot, Wes. I am hot, and I am not happy. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but you know, you uh, you make it through. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's it's a thing where where it's it's cool to put it on because you know what the symbol what it symbolizes. And it's great, but it is super cumbersome. It's awkward to walk in. Everyone laughs at me, but you know, it looks cool. On, it looks cool on camera. Does it squeak at all? Then it squeaks all the time. Like like I'm not like I'm not like it's it's a thing. We've joked about it, like how I can't sneak up on anyone. And, and I'll tell you, we were shooting a scene uh, maybe like a couple weeks ago or a month ago. And, and the idea was that a bunch of us were supposed to be walking in together, coming into the scene together. I was in my suit of armor. Um, I looked so awkward doing it that they said, here, you know what? Um, instead, you, you, we're just going to zoom you in. So we're just going to pause and you just act like you've flown in because <laughs> we can't have you walk in. That's how awkward it is to for me in this suit. It looks hilarious when I'm moving. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speak- Speaking of that whole sneak it up on people, are there a lot of pranks and fun behind the scenes when you when you all ain't shooting? You know who actually does the most pranks? Like Tyler does a lot to Bitsy. <laughs> I don't those two, those two, because she got she just scares really easily. So, oh. so like I think like one time we put like a spider or a rat like or something in, in her like a fake one obviously in, right. in her bag and she's all freaking out like stuff like that. Like yeah, like Alex likes to do stuff. Like they know me. I'm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the prank world. Don't prank me. <laughs> so, so, but a lot of them do it for each other. What are you most scared of then? Is there, is it like rats, snakes, spiders? Oh, snakes, hundred percent. Like oh. I don't play with snakes. Like, you know, you see the people who go around in the streets and they wrap snakes around them and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And then, and then people are like, Oh, could I take a picture with that? I'm like, are you stupid? <laughs> are, are, you, are you? So if you get bitten, it's your fault. You realize right. that you brought this on yourself. So yeah, no, I, I'm, uh, I'm 100 right there with you. I even see like the snakes videos on like America's Funny Zone videos. I'm like, nope, nothing. Don't want anything to do with it. I'm with you 100. percent No, no yep. Wes, you and I will survive. You and I will survive. <laughs> That's everyone else is going to die in the apocalypse. So. <laughs> Absolutely, there. Talk about the suit and stuff like that. How about the stunts? I mean, obviously you have stunt people that do it, but it, when the helmet's on, is it mostly you or the stunt person? No, it's mostly my stunt person, Steven. Okay. Steven does an amazing, amazing job. He's he, you know, it's 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 a lot of work. 
uh, you know, it's something where um, I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't think people take it for granted. I know I don't, but, but like, again, it's a very cumbersome suit. It's a lot to move around in, and he has to be thrown around sometimes and all this stuff. Cause you know, you're dealing with like superpowered people and all that. Mm-hmm. So he does a great job. Uh, I do, I, I work in it as well. If, if the suit, if the helmet's on, I always tell people it's about 95% of the time it's him. Obviously if it's, if it's not, then it's me, you know, if I have the helmet off, um, but I get to do it at work with it as well. And it's just, it's just something you get used to. All right squeaking thing and all that goodness yeah. um so with the suit and even around the uh, set i read an article the other day that keanu reeves has a couple of mementos from his career like he has the red pill from the Matrix. are you serious yeah he took it it's his um he has but, a but wasn't he also like a producer on the movie though i mean smart but like yeah like he had the power but yeah yeah he has the red pill have do you have anything so far from superman and lois no and uh i do plan to steal something uh, so like I will get something because uh, uh, we you know we as of now we we still don't know if we're renewed or not we we assume okay. we will will be renewed and we hope so um, but I'd like to hope because I, I like to know ahead of time that it's our final season so I could prepare my theft and be like I want this I want that a hammer we have a few hammers maybe one ends up at home with me I don't know so how many see. How many hammers are there? Is there like a prop hammer that is like the photo like the hard shot and then one for throwing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there's, there's, uh, there's, yeah, there's a couple. There's, um, there's, there's a like supposedly lighter version that's not really light, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and and then there's like the one which is even heavier and it like it's shinier and like you know it's like when we have up close shots of it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so, so yeah, there's a, there's at least two. There might be a third, but I know there's at least two. So you already have it planned, and it's going to be the hammer. Is there anything else? I, I, I mean, that's an idea. I'll probably take some kryptonite. Uh, uh, at some point, we had so much kryptonite around, like I probably should have just stolen it then. But <laughs> uh, yeah, we just like there was like because it was like kryptonite XK and all that stuff. We just had like a a, a bunch hanging around. Oh my goodness! <laughs> now, I'm sure there's a lot missing now in the props department that no one kept tabs on. Uh, pr- probably that's what it is. I, you see, people have been stealing behind like behind my back. They've been doing it smartly. I didn't. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> So you said uh, you finished up today, right? On, on I, I will. No, no. I'm actually going to set later. later. We have, uh, we're have we doing night shoots tonight. Okay. All right. And that is the finale episode for you. You'll be for done. The finale. That will be it. A couple of us are done tonight, and everyone else finishes up uh, by Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, like I said, when we premiere. It's, and, it's, and it's just different this year. We, we normally, uh, you know, last the last few years we think we premiered in february and january and all these things so like you know we're still shooting we still get to see the fan reaction you know we still get to interact with them and like you know have lives we bring people over to set now it's like no we're just going to be completely done uh uh so it'll be interesting to see that is kind of crazy to watch even now just be able to watch it in real time for you do you pay a lot of attention to like when it drops and fans start reacting or do you just stay off social uh, I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm a person where just for, I think mental health, you should have a good arm's length with social media. Like I I'm on Instagram, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't check my DMS. I, I'm not one. Like I know some, some of the younger people on our show do that. And then they like go through crazy. Cause they're like, this person said this about me. I'm like, well, why are you reading it? Stupid. Uh, uh, like, like I'll interact with them if I post something and they, and they put something in the comments. Cause generally people are not going to be like vicious and, and kind of like nasty in there. Um, uh, but DMs, I, yeah, like I said, I just don't. But I do, there are a couple, of, I will admit, there are a couple of like uh, fan sites or whatever who who I, I like their takes on, on what we do. So I do, well, I might watch a YouTube video. I might read an article because I do think their their takes on it are rather interesting. You know, those YouTube videos. So last night I watched the, the one minute like teaser trailer for mm-hmm. the season, kind of refresh on things. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I looked it up, typed it in. And it was like, all right, there's the teaser trailer. And next to it was like somebody's 12 minute breakdown of a one minute trailer. I'm like, how are you spending that much time breaking this thing down? No, no, no. What I find more fascinating, this is just in general, but in the internet, I, I, I'm, I like that there's a video of someone watching another video. <laughs> like I always, oh, yeah. they're, they're like, they're Reactions. like, my, yeah, the reaction video is like my reaction to a trailer. And so you have to watch them watch something else. <laughs> and I was like, this is just, this, but this is, like, I just think this is a Gen Z thing. I don't know. I'm 40. So that, I think it's just a different generation. I'm like, sure. I, I don't, I'll, I'll just watch the video myself. I don't need to like watch someone else watch the video and tell me what they think. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, my kid is 13. I'm going to be yeah. 40 this year. Same thing. Yeah. He'll come down to me. He's like, you got to watch this video. I look at him like, I do not understand the humor in this one bit totally different. totally different kind of thing totally different yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much secretiveness around this show you know yeah. obviously you got to be careful doing these interviews about what you yes. can say what you don't say yes. um when you uh, when you 
audition for the show mm-hmm. you didn't know who you were auditioning for i think it was wasn't the character called brad smith or something like that that you like that yeah something really generic like you know what i mean like i'd have to dig it up but yeah like some fake dummy things but based on the sides and based on the dialogue i assumed that was captain luther i mean i didn't know the route they were gonna go like i didn't know um i'm trying to think it's been so long because i auditioned for it okay. um i don't think that I knew he was going to be like a general, like, or like a kind of like a military background. I just knew he, the vibe was going to be like, Oh, I'm, I'm go I'm going in for, um, for Lex Luthor. And then, and then, yeah, when to find out he's steel, I, I was, I was shocked. I mean, like, you know, we, I, Todd told me about it uh, a few months after, cause we, we shut down cause of COVID, you know, we never actually um, started filming anything. Right. And then, and then, yeah, I found out uh, during the break. I was going to ask like, how do you go in not knowing your character and then to read this very generic character, and try to audition for a show like this. But but that's honestly that's like what a lot of shows do now, especially because comic books are so popular. And even and even shows that aren't comic books, like you know, like I've I, you know I've gone in for things where where it's like okay, uh, the, you you're not going to get a sent aside. You have to drive. I mean, this is before like you know the pandemic, but like you you have to drive to the casting office, fill out an NDA there, get a hard copy of the side there, bring it home, bring it back to them it's watermarked to you they're like so like it's all watermarked so if like you know copies get out it has your name on it and and, and they'll like, bring the specific copy back it's like okay wow <laughs> but yeah i mean they some of these people they take their properties very seriously well, understandably so there's a lot yeah. out there in the world the dc universe is very protective and obviously yeah. they got a great product and superman and lois season three here coming up um it's the whole thing the season looks great i'm looking forward to nice. get into it um you know, you do a lot of acting in front of the screen, but I hear that you want to get behind the camera here as well. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, again, this is a long term goal of mine, just because I'm a person where I just I love anything that, you know, you get passionate about. Like, like, yeah. I'm not a person who needs to be in front of the camera all the time. I have no like I, I like who I'm playing. If it's a character who I love, it's great. But for me, it's like. I want to be in a place in my life where I, I wake up in the middle of the night and, I, and, I, and I'm stuck because I'm thinking about something I want that what I'm doing tomorrow, whether it's like acting, writing, directing, whatever it is. And I have to write it down, you know, like like my, it keeps me going. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was lucky enough. To, uh, Todd Helbing, uh, who's uh, one of our showrunners now, Brett Fletcher is also the other one. He was really nice. and He's always been super supportive. Uh, and, and I told him I want to do the Warner Brothers directing program. Uh, uh, and um, and like right now, they're they're reading they're re organizing it or whatever so it hasn't been announced yet but yeah that's what i want to do i would love to do that and he let me uh shadow behind david ramsey this season which was great his episode and so it was, yeah it was, it was really cool so the director's program kind of helps teach you it or what does that do yeah yeah it, 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 like, it helps teach you kind of like uh act like uh, directing for tv because you know it's a different yeah. genre different kind of thing like you know it's not like t- film where the director has a lot more power you know, like, like kind of, it's like the just director show, like, you know, you have all this time when it's TV or when you're doing episodic TV or whatever, you're, you're, you're the guest, you know, the yeah. writers are the ones who are there all the time. The actors are there and the crew's there all the time. You're the one popping in for one episode and you got to find your way to figure out, okay, what's the tone of the show? How do I fit in? How do I, how do I direct? Like you, you can't direct an episode that looks like a totally different show, you know, it's just, so it's a different beast. So I think that's, that's, um, that was the focus before again, it's uh they're they're redoing the program, so we'll see what it looks like uh, going forward. And that was going to be a follow up. Is there's so many different directors on this show? I know like uh, Amy Jo Johnson, the former Pink did, Ranger she did last year. Yeah, yeah. So how does that work with uh, for you as an actor? Do you have to do like we did this episode with two different? We did these two episodes with this director. Now we got a one off with this person. Go to this person. Um, how is that as an experience for you? Honestly, it's something you just kind of get used to when you do a TV. Uh, like, like the only person who directs multiple episodes uh, per season is Greg Smith, who's our supervising producer director. He always directs like maybe three, four ish or whatever. Uh, David Ramsey did two last season, but like most of the time, it's always rotating directors. What makes it consistent is are, are the DPs. You know, we got two DPs who work on our show, Gord and uh, and Stephen Meyer. They're 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 really good, and they they're like, this is what the show looks like, you know. And then Greg Smith, like I said, is our supervisor. He could come in if it's a new director, he might be a little more green, be like, look, and help out and say, this is how we normally do this. You know, people could say, I don't know, and and we and sometimes we get directors who come back and they're they're great. Like I, we have some really really good directors this season. Tom Cavanaugh came back. He directs episode one of, of, of the se- of the season of the season premiere this season, uh, and he Tom just always brings out the humor in the show, which I love. He's so hilarious, and his I, I saw we saw we we screened the episode a couple months ago, and and Tom just always kills it because he's hilarious. 
going back and screening the episodes and seeing everything uh what's it like for you to go okay now i now that i see the finished product i understand it and that's what it is you you, you kind of get stuck in the weeds because because okay. you know people see the finished product uh uh and, and it's great and we have great fans but like you know shooting it is a different beast you're there 14 plus hour days you know you're there all day every day you're shooting this scene this scene or whatever and you lose track like you kind of forget like you know again we, we premiere like i said on tuesday and I don't. I mean, I I did watch the premiere. We, we we screened it, in, I think in December. But like that in episode two, I don't I don't remember everything that happens. I'm like, what did we do back then? Like like what happens? You know, it's just like because it's just you kind of forget. Which for me now is kind of cool, if only because then I'll watch and I'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, and kind of can I, I can still be surprised. As far as the episodes themselves, how much is there a lot that you do and shoot? Like how many? scenes are cut if you will is there a lot that they write and they're like ah you know what this doesn't make it yeah. i think it depends on the episode i think and i and, and i will say like rather than maybe cut an entire scene they'll cut part of a scene okay Be because the thing people don't realize or at least i don't think they you know they give them much appreciation to is like when you're doing broadcast it's a different medium you know streaming works in any way because like they're like oh you know what this episode we'll, be, we'll give it 45 minutes we only need 45 minutes to tell our story this episode we need an hour and 10 minutes to tell our story mm -hmm. and you can do whatever you want with broadcast you have 42 minutes that's it like like you have to like you have to hit that mark so a lot of stuff does get cut it just kind of depends on you know maybe they find a different way to tell it you know like or whatever but it's all about timing okay very good what's coming up in 23 for you the rest of the year because you're going to wrap this up I am. I know. I know. And that's the thing. Like, like I said, definitely want to see like if that director's program comes about, I uh, want to try to get into that. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, I've been starting to audition again now just because we're finally winding down because I think everyone knows we shoot in Vancouver. Um, uh, so I'm going to head back to L.A., go on a trip for a while, get kind of shake things off, get a break, you know, <laughs> like to sort of decompress for a minute. Uh, and, yeah, just try to do something uh, over the, or during the break. Hopefully it's a break because hopefully we come back again for season four. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we'll see. How nerve wracking is that waiting? I mean, how long do you typically have to wait for the approvals or the idea of the time? Did they give you a timeline? Like, all right, you're going to wait till this date and we'll let you know. No, we, we don't. There's nothing. Ugh. Radio silence. And, and that's the weird thing is like, you know, every other season we like, we know ahead of time, like before while we're shooting, we're like, you renewed. Like, it's like, okay, cool. So this idea that, I mean, if I had to guess and put money on it, I figure we'll find out by May. Um, okay. But uh, but yeah, I I don't know. It's 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 something you just have to make peace with. Right. Uh, I would of course prefer to know, but that's I have no control over that. Very good. Well, I won't ask any more in terms of that because the storyline will dictate some of the stuff toward you know yes. get to the yes. end. <laughs> and also the viewers also please like if you watch, hey, most likely we'll get renewed. So please watch. Tell your friends to watch. Watch on the CW app the next day. Yeah, for exactly. For uh, we'll wrap with a couple things here. Uh, you've been sober now for what, 17, 18 years now? Uh, oh, almost. Oh, 16 and a half. Okay. 16 and a half. So, you know, that's such an amazing thing. I'm, I'm actually coming up on two years myself now. Oh, congrats, um, dude. That's amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Actually, it'll be two years uh, next month. For those coming into that journey, which, you know, it could take a lot to get started. Yeah. And, you know, those people might be looking for lighter inspiration. What do you say to them? You know, I tell people, first of all, you take it one day at a time. Like my first meeting I went to, um, I was 24 and the guy had 27 years of sobriety. And the idea of him having like more years, so more years sober than I had years on the planet was really weird. Um, but it's a one day at a time thing. He's like, you just have today. So, so if you're going in and you're thinking about it, um, there's probably a reason why, but I would also suggest to, um, you know, just give it a shot, go through the steps. Uh, it doesn't hurt. And, you know, we always there, there's the joke that if, if it doesn't work, you'd always, you know, we can refund your misery. Go back out. Uh, uh, but 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 take it a day at a time. Don't don't. It can be very overwhelming. It's a lot of stuff. I even at this point, like 16 plus years sober, I'm not like, oh, I'm never going to drink ever in the, for the rest of my life. I mean, I probably won't. But I, I just I just think about today and I go step by step. Very good. Wrap with a couple uh, quick fire questions for you. Yes. You're, you're going to go out and let's just pretend you're going to go hit the gym a little bit later. If I pull yeah, up your I playlist, uh, what's the first couple? What, what's in your playlist if you're hitting the gym? Uh, 90s hip hop R&B. Uh, love little Kim, Biggie. Got to do that. Uh, whatever. Maybe it's new stuff that's out. I, I'm still obsessed with that Sam Petch. I'm, I'm not, excuse me, I'm combining the two. That uh, Sam Smith song, the, the oh. Unholy, because yes. it's such a freaking good song. I'm still bopping that even after all this time. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. There is a so there's a band called Dropout Kings. They oh. did like a heavy metal rap version of it. 
I've not heard this. Dropout yeah, it's unholy. They're called Dropout Kings. Uh, check it out. It's it's on all the playlists. Out yeah, I'll, I'll check it. Dropout Kings. Okay. Yeah, Dropout Kings. Uh, favorite cheat day food? Oh, French fries. Love oh. French fries. So is, it, is it just in general, or do you have like a fast food joint you like? Uh, uh, no, oh, I mean, if you're going fast food, like number one. Um, oh, oh, uh, oh my God. Five guys. Five ah. Guys. Love me five guys. I, d- by the way, don't look up the nutrition facts because you won't eat it. It's, it's it's not it's it's bad. Like it's <laughs> bad. <laughs> so yeah. that's it's rare I eat there. But if I eat there, I'm happy. <laughs> All right. So uh, outside of Superman and Lois, because you can't answer with that, okay. what shows are you watching right now? Oh, dude, Last of Us. Who's not? I'm obsessed. Bella Ramsey just won an Emmy. She. I know. Did you see? Do you are you watching? Oh, I am. And I'm upset that this is the last episode this weekend for it. I'm like, I need more. I, I know. Did you did you hear? Apparently, they're saying that they're only going to do two seasons. They're only going to base it off of the games. Oh, I was wow. like, I knew, yeah, I knew there was a second season coming. No, they can't do that. That's what I said. I'm like, you can stretch this out. So no, definitely Last of Us. I, I binged Andor. I was late to the game. Okay. Because like, keep it real. I'm not, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I don't, I like, I don't, the, the, the binary of good versus evil is sort of boring to me. Uh, uh, like that's why I was more of a Star Trek person, and but everyone's like, no, you'll love Andor, you'll love Andor. So I did that. Uh, yeah, so those are the, those are the ones that come to mind. All right, two more. A celebrity you haven't but would like to meet. Uh, Meryl Streep, just because I think she's amazing, and I would love to work against her. Um, it would I would fan out for a while, and it would take me a while to get over it, but then I would just be in, in awe. All right, is there a character in the DC universe that you would like to play? John Stewart. I'm not even like I'm not even like hiding it anymore. Like people ask me about it, and I'm just like, yeah, John. Like like yeah, like Green Lantern. Like I, I hear they're doing like a, a new TV show. If if we end somehow, and like I can audition, hey, I'll do it. There you go, Superman and Lois. The new season kicks off on Tuesday. Thank you so much for the time. No problem. Thanks for letting me be here, Wes.